Hey everybody, Nate here. Another update today on the Expedition truck. I'm almost a couple days away from getting all the new framing material off and taken out to the metalizer. That's gonna get uh, coated to protect it from corrosion and all that stuff. Got my front spring mounts done. Middles are tagged in and the ends. And then I've got some cross members here inside the back well, two in the back here this one's going to go out because my water tank is going to go here one of the water tanks anyway got the uh front cross member in there behind the transmission i still got to deal with all that stuff it's gonna mostly go away and rig up an air filter up here it's lots of little ends to tie up but um the framing stuff is just about done on the subframe so I got lots of room in here to run wire and all that fun stuff. Um, and these spring mounts are pretty cool. The way we're doing this is in between these two pieces, we're going to have a three quarter inch thick piece of rubber that's going to run the length of that. So this is just a spacer off the frame. And this is a subframe. And then these are the cross members. So this, ah, I can't move it with the camera in my hand. This is basically gonna go this way and those are getting spaced out. Um, so up here, I'm building a piece that sits down flush with this. I put that space in, it's gonna have a three quarter inch space and then we're gonna have a long rod bolt basically that goes through them with a spring on the bottom. And then this upper piece is gonna come down like this to capture um, this lower piece. So when it's sitting, uh, it's gonna flare out just a little bit so when it's sitting, it'll be captured here this way and this way. Plus you'll have the bolt with the spring in it. And then as the frame twists, and this piece you know, can articulate up as this frame here comes down, that's gonna put pressure on this spring and allow this to stay square all the time because this is what the box is gonna be built off. And these two pieces are tied together. They can twist. This is a pretty long frame. Um, it's 20 feet from here to the front of the cab. So, and it is just C-channel, I mean, just C-channel, it's huge. Um, but this is all 3 16 wall material. So this stuff is super, super stout. Um, but you will get a bunch of, a uh, bit of frame flex on this as, you know, these tires drop differently from the front axle and everything kind of twists. So. Um, they call this a torsion free subframe. There's a couple different ways to do it, but this is the way I chose to do it because I would rather have my box be built super stout than use one of those fiberglass boxes, um, that just have thin wall aluminum in the sides to mount your cabinetry and stuff too. Um, actually have something in the works that will also justify all of this that you'll see in another YouTube video down the road when this is all done. Uh, it'll be a fun surprise, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So anyway, um, that is pretty much that. I am going to be working on getting the rest of this PTO out of there. It's up in there. Um, and then I'll work on cleaning some of that stuff up. So I've got to drop the front drive shaft and pull that PTO out. That's what I'm going to work on this morning, and that'll be it for today. I'll give you guys an update as soon as all the stuff goes off to the metalizer. And build some brackets and an air cleaner and all that stuff for this so anyway that's it for today um enjoy the ride and i will talk to you guys soon don't forget to subscribe and like this video it really helps me out i want to try and get to a thousand subscribers so i can monetize this um so i'm going to be posting updates on this all the time so please hit the subscribe button if you have any questions uh feel free to ask them in the comments like i'm happy to tell you what not to do as doing this process um and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Terrible outro, but I'll see you guys next time.